finally we are back on track after last week's episode which was a bit of a miss for me personally. The mystery of Chopper Base should have been the follow up episode to Shroud of Darkness as it feels like a direct continuation to the events of Shroud of Darkness. Let's get started and take a look at the three big moments from this week's episode as we set up for next week's double episode which is going to be the season finale. First up, we get to see Ezra and Kanan's lightsaber training. It was really something else to see and experience Kanan and Ezra's combat training and to see just how far both of them have come since we started the journey with the Rebels crew in Season 1. It appears that right now, Kanan and Ezra, in regards to lightsaber combat, seem to be very evenly matched as they continue to end in a series of ties. Ezra is quickly learning as he continues to copy and emulate both Kanan and Anakin through the use of holocrons from Ahsoka. We hear the distinct difference of Ezra and Kanan's views when it comes to the Inquisitors as Ezra believes the only way to secure a victory against an Inquisitor is to kill one, but Kanan views a victory as merely surviving. We will see these conflicting views put to the test in the season finale where we see Ezra force choking the Seven Sister. Next up we have the introductions of more Legends material. The Nobby White Spider which in the Legend storyline was a large white spider native to the swamps of Dagobah. I find it interesting that they are found on a new planet rather than Dagobah in their introduction to canon. And at this moment, I'm not too sure if this will hold any meaning to the planet the Rebels are setting their new base on. Perhaps it's just a nod to the Legends material and nothing more. And wow, tell me that scene with Sabine the Bounty Hunter crawling from the edge of a pit isn't a callback to the Sarlacc pit. I found it very interesting that despite Ezra's multiple attempts to connect with the spiders, he was unable to do so. Recently we have seen him succeed whenever he attempts to connect with another creature. This might be due to the fact the spider's nature is somewhat evil and dark, unlike the previous creatures we have seen Ezra making a connection with. Perhaps only through the dark side would he be able to connect with a creature such as this. Finally, we have the moment shared between Zeb and Ezra and Hera and Kanan. Both had an emotional punch to them and it was great to see Kanan and Hera share a moment together which has been long overdue considering the hints we have received towards a possible relationship over the course of this series. However, what scares me the most is the whole it's too good to be true feeling and it gives you that sinking feeling that the Rebels crew is splitting in two and might never regroup together again. I really now believe out of Ezra and Kanan, one of them will not be returning to the crew at the end of the season, whether it be through death or simply taking a different path separate to the Rebels crew. Anyway, I really enjoyed this episode and I think it's a great setup for next week's double episode. I would love to hear what you liked about this episode and what you were looking forward to most in the season finale. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Star Wars Rebels, lore, theories and news, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date.